One after another, strangers stop to look or drop off flowers at the doors of the Wells Fargo Bank at the Murray Hill Shopping Center. Black plastic covers the windows to keep the world out, but even on the sidewalk, the symbolism is powerful. Uh, it just doesn't seem real until you see it in person, you know. Angie Alverson drove here from her home in East Portland to see and feel the place where her grandma died. Janet Risch was 72 years old and getting money from the bank with her daughter when a man robbed the place and slashed mother and daughter with a knife. Her daughter, Angie's aunt, is hospitalized with a knife cut across the front of her throat. Angie said her grandma helped raise her because Angie's mom was a single mother. She always made sure everybody was taken care of for herself, always, always, always. And now she's gone. The snapshots on Angie's phone hold moments she'll never forget, especially this fun one when she convinced her grandma to drink a margarita for the very first time on her grandma's birthday three years ago. It happened yesterday. All I could think was like, well, I have to call her. And I'm like, no. Nope. So it's hard. But through the pain. Oh, my God, it's so sweet. So, so sweet. People that didn't even know her. Angie marveled at the acts of kindness here. People like Judith David Hope, a stranger new to Portland, who felt she had to do something. She brought not only flowers, but also a hug when she realized who Angie was. I'm so sorry. A small but powerful message of hope. Crazy people. That there is more love here than hate. I'm so sorry. Oh. The suspect in the case is being held without bail. He'll be in court next Friday for a probable cause hearing.